What's going on guys, Prestige Booster, and welcome to the first edition of To The Ground. So this is a series where we're going to be revisiting football grounds, non-league and league stadiums, and we're going to rate them on how good they are, and just to show you guys what, what it's like there. So today, we are going to be visiting Discord Town FC. So, uh, so Discord Town FC are based in Oxfordshire, and they're a non-league club, I believe, in the 7th division of the Football League. And today, I'm just going to quickly give you guys a few facts about them. So the name is Discord Town FC. They, are, they were founded in 1907, and they have a seating capacity of around 3,000, I believe. And they also have a seating capacity of 350 seats, which is pretty impressive for an only club. But yeah, today we're currently on the train at the moment, on the GWR train to Discord Parkway. That's where we're going to be getting off to go to the football stadium. And fun fact, actually, I actually used to live in Discord. And I think I moved out of Discord just about a few months before I started this YouTube channel back in 2012. So, coming here does bring back a lot of memories for me. And I believe I did come here for a vlog, I believe, a um, year ago or so. Uh, for, what was it for? It was just, uh, just a general um, flashback vlog, really, just to see why I used to live in that. And, yeah, it was actually quite cool. Uh, there's a link to it in the description below if you want to go see that. But, yeah, we're currently now in Pangbourne. And we're also now currently approaching Chelsea as well. I actually used to live in Chelsea as well. I went to primary school there. Pretty decent stuff. And uh, now we're approaching Didcot Parkway. And this is just a little bit um, of a bit of a time lapse really before I got there. I still slow, slow mo here just to, you know, shoot guys what it's like in slow mo on a train. Not like, not like you want to know, but you know, it's always nice to see. And we're now coming up getting off Discot Parkway. And we're at the station. So we just got out now. And we're just having a little look around to see where we need to go. And I just remembered I need to turn left, as I remember from the last vlog that I turned left, so on 4th. And we are now at the hills. And it's a nice big hill, I liked, I used to turn as a boy. And it's such a nice view and it's such a nice day as well. And here we, ha we have the Luke Meadow Stadium. A very nice stadium it is as well. Just, just a quick tour of this car, on the, on the right you can see the old estates. Uh, where Dart Drive is, um, where, where I used to live. Nice little, a little state there, very nice and friendly. And on the left, we have the shops and the rest of Discord as well, uh, which has a little variety of states. But, yep, we are now currently at the ground. And here it is, Loop Meadow Stadium. And I also got a program as well. I'm about to show you guys. Yeah, nice little program here. £2.50 for the program, um, £1 for the raffle, £5 for the match day ticket, and £4.45 for the train. So, in general, a pretty cheap, a cheap cost to actually come see a football game, considering I live quite a little bit away. So, you know, very good value for money there. Um, non league are very good with prices because, you know, you, you don't know exactly you're going to pay 20 quid to see a non league football game. I mean, come on now, we're not the EFL. So, yeah, just the players coming out to train now. I believe this is the home side. And what the hell are you doing on top of the hill? Pay for the ticket for God's sake. I pay five pounds to get in there. But yeah, we've got the play players coming to train here. And just whilst, I, whilst they do so, I'm going to have a look at the fixture table. So, Discord are currently made down undefeated in the league. And they're currently second in the league. And just ahead of Tem United, who are our opponents for today. So, I'm expecting a very good game today. But yeah, as you can see, Discord Town FC coming out um, to the pitch. And they look ready to rumble. And hopefully to bring a good game to Tem United. But yeah, players huddling up. And they look very, very ready to put on a good show for us. And that's about it, really. They're just discussing things. Why are you not social distancing? And, yep, the players are getting ready now. We're talking with the referees, discussing, discussing who should get the first kick of the ball. And it's going to be Discord United, Discord Town FC that are going to do so. And we kick off. And let's start the game. And first opportunity, Team United throw it in. And Discord Town head it away. And... Scuffle, oh, scuffle on the penalty box out. I think the goalkeeper's got the ball though. And yeah, I'm going to do like a little, um, how do you call it? A little montage. Just say a little music montage or just the rest of my experience. And I'll keep, and I'll keep the commentary going on some parts of the, of the clips. So, yeah, I probably should have bit, edited a bit better.
Oh my good god, they scored. They scored Tatum 1, Tim United 0. And that's the end of the first half. And I just need to give you guys a disclaimer. The second half, not much footage has been recorded, but I'm going to explain in a bit. So, yep, we've got a little throw here from Discord Titan FC. Throw to absolutely nothing. And, yep, this is just where I give my, you guys a disclaimer. So, basically, I was just told by Stuart that I couldn't record anymore because they didn't want much footage leak. I'm going out of Discord Titan FC's match because, obviously, they want people to pay for to see the matches even though it... it the match is over and probably people which would have wanted to see the replay and that but I, I tried looking online there's no, there's no way you could find a typical 10 fc replay so you know the match replay so i didn't know what i was having there but I, I, I kindly obliged to stop recording and um yeah so tim united did score i think in about 62 minutes into the game unless a few minutes later typical town got got the lead again and after that's the end of the match really it was quite nice on um, three goal match so this is just me walking out the stadium but yeah, I've got my milk and I've got my um, food here in my bag. And yeah, let's go ahead and rate this experience. So I think in terms of the atmosphere, not, there's not too much chanting. I felt there was a little bit of chanting, but not too much. There wasn't that many people there, probably because of the coronavirus situation. But um, yeah, for terms of atmosphere, it was okay. And I did feel like it was a, it was a nice match. So I would give it 2 out of, 10, two out of 5 for the, um, for the atmosphere. Cost, obviously, 5 out of 5. Out of five. They have really good cost and, uh, you know, £5 for a football ticket and um, £3.50 for a raffle on the programme. Did, fortunately, did not win the raffle, but, you know, we move. And finally, in terms of the overall experience, I'd probably give it about about 3.5 to 4 out of 10. But, you know, I'm going to be... Uh, out of 5, sorry. And, you know what? I'm going to give it 4 out of 5. It was a nice only football match. You know, decent atmosphere and, you know, a uh, very good cost efficient and... I think in terms of facilities as well, nice little ground really, you know, got everything you need really, and a nice location as well for the ground to be at. So, you know, pretty good good all round actually. And I think if I go to another a football match, I don't know if it'll match this one, but, you know, if the atmosphere is good, then, you know, we may have a chance. But, um, yeah, it's going to be the end of the uh, series. We do have you guys, sorry, it's a bit, you know, um, b techy sort of. Um, this is my first episode of the series. But, um, yeah, hopefully with f future episodes, I should be able to create much better high-quality videos. So watch that, f uh, watch that space, you know, guys. And, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed your videos. Please like and subscribe. That's the same for 10 likes on this video. And, um, yeah, without further ado, peace out.